The New York Times published an article in June of 2017, entitled, Drug Deaths in America Are Rising Faster Than Ever. The article is just another reminder of how social engineering and creating fake news affects the delivery of credible reporting. The article gives the reader the appearance that prescription drugs written by doctors are the main cause of overdose deaths in the United States and they show several graphs and curves shooting straight up to the sky. This type of news reporting and the way that this news is delivered, reflects a special interest agenda and it is designed to make everyday people, like me and you, believe that prescription drugs written by doctors are killing people and the overdose deaths are rising every year. The New York Times is a part of a special interest group that has intentionally mischaracterized and misrepresented the actual facts concerning prescription painkillers to the people. This is called fake news because it does not reflect the truth and the reader is lead to believe a false story that is filed with hard-hitting statistics that would scare the pants off most people wearing belts. Any decent hard-working conscious person would think that the height of the prescription overdose death happened in the state of Florida, this is where 85% of all the opioids were originally sold in the USA, for many years. Finally, after the DEA broke up the pharmacies, doctors, and drug distributors illicit drug rings, one would think that the prescription drug overdoses would decrease once they stopped the illegal drug trade in the state of Florida, but it has not, according to the New York Times article. Special interest groups are misleading the public. The Center for Disease Control CDC, published a research article using government data on prescription overdose deaths in the United States. The CDC statistics blew the New York Times published fake news out of the water. The CDC reported that there were 22,000 overdose deaths in the United States in 2015 from prescription drugs, which were up from 19,000 in 2014. The New York Times published that there were 52,000 overdose deaths in 2015, a ridiculous, far-fetched number that bears the imagination dry. The CDC also published that the majority of all the 22,000 prescription overdose deaths reported in 2015 was from illicit and illegal fentanyl made and sold on the black market. The New York Times is creating fake news. Why are so many reporters and news outlets creating fake news and misleading the people of this country? There is a reason for everything and we are all probably aware that there are hundreds of special interest groups lobbying our elected and appointed officials to break laws and in some cases, to weep havoc and harm innocent peoples, like we have seen with the vaccines that are causing autism in millions of children. The prescription painkillers are being used to discredit doctors and lock them up, this is a more sinister plot to criminalize medicine and start a war against the doctors and patients. Usually. When you hear about war, you would think of casualties, blood, and victory for the winners. The New York Times fake news article is not winning because most intelligent people can see right through these man-made smoke screens, which are designed to only hurt doctors, nurses, and medical professionals in this country. Billy Early is a physician assistant and he is a healthcare advocate for the National Advisory Board for Black Doctors Matters for the National Advisory Board of the American Pain Institute, for the World Sickle Cell Federation and Humane Treatment of Chronic Sickle Cell Patients, and you can hear and read Billy's latest editorials and writings at www.doctorsofcourage.org. Please support our cause by donating to the American Pain Institute, to help sponsor our March and Congressional Briefing in Washington, D.C. on April 25, 2018. You can help us make a change by signing our petition at change.org to enact a medical board civilian police review committee to help stop doctors and nurses from being falsely prosecuted and unlawful attacked by special interests groups like CVS Pharmacy and their partners at the drug enforcement agencies. You can find the links how to donate and sign the petition in the description box below. Thank you.